when Santos's men get through that door. I've done a lot of things I'm not proud of. I always figure out a way to justify it. Makes it a little easier to look in the mirror in the morning. But pointing a gun at you, square at your chest and pulling the trigger is no excuse. If my mother hadn't shown up when she did and told you the truth, you would have made damn sure you put another bullet in me and finished the job. It was the wrong thing to do. Not just because you're my son, because you were unarmed. It's not a fair fight. I, I didn't know. There were rules when you kill someone in cold blood. I want to be someone my, my kids respect. And that's why I vowed never to do that again. But I'm telling you, Johnny hit a gun, and I shot him in self-defense. Why should I believe you about this or anything else? You know, I will lie to a cop any day of the week, but I'm not going to lie to my kids. And I know I haven't done much for you to trust me, but I'm trying to change that. So I'm asking you to believe me. What happened between me and Johnny on Baker Street? With self defense. I do believe you. You're blocking out a bunch of time in your calendar for us to spend together. <laughs> I thought you had to go back to London and drown. Well, the tank is still broken. I'm not sure who actually screwed that up, but I definitely own for this extended vacation that I've had here. I mean, with our schedules, who knows the next time that we're going to be able to spend this much time together. Could be months. How'd your meeting go? Went great. Oh, good. But I'm having second thoughts about taking on the role of the international man of danger. What? Why? I mean, what, what, what are you talking about? It's a proven franchise. What? <laughs> well, while I am off pretending to save the world... Some guy could come here and steal you away. Right, we catch the first group by surprise and use their guns to hold right, us there are other cabins in the area. Someone's bound to hear the shots and, and call the police. And Sanchez's men are going to need to act fast. They're going to want to get in now before the police show up. Exactly. So we position ourselves to take them out as they come in. Just never panic. I mean, you really should. Well, I'm just following your lead. <laughs> well, it's the first deal of cards, you know. Never show your hand. Even when it's crap, you keep bluffing. Knowing that you can look past my faults and believe me means a lot to me. I'm choosing to believe you this one time. Doesn't mean I'm going to forget about the other crimes you committed or look the other way if you ever did something ever again. You break the law, I'm going to bust you. Fair enough. I am working at that. Especially after what happened with Claudia. I'm realizing maybe I shouldn't be rushing to judgment. So I am going to give you the benefit of the doubt, and not because I'm your son either. I know firsthand how much Johnny hates you, and I know he would do anything to get justice for his sister. So I have no problem believing that he would actually walk up to you on a crowded street and try and fire off a few rounds. I just think you're smarter than that. If you wanted to kill Johnny, you'd do it in such a way that it can't be tied back to you. And you definitely would not leave him breathing. Your actions are those of someone who is acting in self-defense. I wouldn't like the better if you believe me, because I'm your father. But, you know, 
What matters is, you know, I'm not lying to you. It's gonna like, take a lot more than my belief to get you out of a murder rap. Have to worry about some other man stealing my heart away. Yeah, right. Where in the world am I going to find anyone else who I get along with this well? Well, we don't see each other enough to have anything to fight about. You know what we're missing out on? What? Is makeup sex. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, makeup sex? Yeah. This, this, I haven't seen each other in weeks sex, mm -hmm. I feel, is pretty good. Yeah. Pretty amazing. How about try months? Three months. What? Yeah. The Amnesiac Spy is going back to Russia to do the sequel. And we're going to be doing it in the middle of the winter. I mean, imagine how cold and lonely the tundra is going to be. And dangerous. The director wants me to do my own stuff. What? Yeah. Oh, and you're so upset about that, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. You're always complaining about not getting to do your Back own Back off. Stunts. I mean, I just hate it while they're sitting there painting on my cuts and bruises while the stunt guys are actually out there and getting them doing the real thing. I feel like a wuss. You are a little bit of a wuss. Hey. Doing that. But you're worth more to the studio, beautiful and alive. Okay, and if I were to fall down and break my neck, trying to roll down the Odessa steps, would I still be worth well, anything to that. you? Of course. Hmm? I would be there for you. I would roll you down the red carpet. Oh. That doesn't mean I'm going to marry you, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's so close. You want another chance? Brother, you're my family. You and Emma mean the world to you me. You threw away your family when you cheated. You know, I have to say, I'm not really surprised because this is the person that I met. No, it's... This, this arrogant, self-centered surgeon that only cared about getting laid. And I was the stupid one to ever think that you could possibly settle down and be happy with just me. Robin, I love you, okay? No, you, you don't. To... You love the idea of me. This is what you have a problem with. You have a problem with the day-to-day -day and the monotony. And when you were single, you didn't have to worry about that. You didn't have to worry about getting bored with one woman because you could have any woman that you wanted, but that was supposed to change when we got married. Well, big surprise, did Our vows said for better, for worse, and, and I know that it, it can't really get any worse than this. And, and that's my fault. That's my responsibility, and I'm taking responsibility. Don't you dare let Lisa off the hook that easily. She has been after you ever since she came to town, flirting with you, scrubbing in on your surgeries. I mean, you made me believe that I was paranoid, that she was just your friend, and then I felt so stupid for being insecure. I mean, then you went and you slept with her the first chance you got. It, it just, that's not... She broke into our house. She stole my meds. She stole our daughter. And she was so sick this entire time, but you never bothered to warn me of that. Like, what is wrong with you? How could you even be with a woman like that? I should call the police. I mean, it's up to you. The lock is hospital property. But I would like a record kept to me, because whoever did this went to a lot of trouble to freak me out. Mission accomplished. Okay, I'll interview the entire staff to see if anyone saw anyone else. Okay. Well, what should I do with all of this? Just leave it. I'll get a cleanup crew. Okay, well, we should tell them to be careful. I mean, if that's real blood, we don't want to have them, you know, take any risks. Okay, don't give me that look. All right? We're both thinking it. I slept with Robin's husband, and this is her sick way of getting me back.